Jason Palmer, one of the hosts of The Intelligence, The Economist's daily current affairs podcast. The Economist's award-winning shows make sense of what matters, from our special series on China's president to our weekly podcasts on business, technology, and American politics. Our journalists provide fair, in-depth reporting on the events shaping the world. To get the annual plan for less than two dollars fifty per month, search for Economist Podcasts Plus to start listening today. You have arrived. Welcome to the Aspie World. Here's where we talk about anything and everything ASD in an upbeat and informative way. And now, here's your man on the spectrum, your autism ambassador, Daniel Morgan Jones. So here are five signs of autism in toddlers that you definitely need to see. All that and more is coming up. Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie World. My name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia, and I make weekly videos on this type of content. So if you're new around here and you'd like to learn more about those subjects, remember to hit the subscribe button by clicking that notification bell down below. If you're watching over on Facebook, be sure to give this page a like and a follow to, to see more videos just like this one. And if you're watching over on Instagram TV, make sure to follow my account to see more autism content daily. All right, guys, on with the video. What's going on, guys? If you're new around here, my name is Dan. What's going on? Welcome to the Aspie World, where we think differently daily. What's up, my different thinker fam? You guys are awesome. So, I have a little gift that I give out to pretty much everybody who、uh, comes across the video, and I have a free autism life hacks PDF download book with five、uh, amazing life hacks in it for people who are on the, spec- on the autism spectrum or want to learn about it. So, you can download that PDF for free by just going to the link in the description down below, in a, in a card here on YouTube, and on the end screen on YouTube. But also, if you are watching on Instagram, it will be in the bio of my Instagram profile. So, definitely check that out. It's、uh, completely free, and it's definitely for you. Okay, guys. So, I、uh, I wanted to do this one about toddlers because I feel like toddlers are such an interesting age for. Autism. You know, the youngest you can diagnose somebody with autism is typically around three years old. That's when you kind of start looking at somebody. And so, you know, three to five years old, you know, these toddlers and these little tots walking about, and you know, they're becoming their own people. And I think it's really interesting if we can kind of home in on specific traits of autism and see if we can identify something early on. Because the earlier you get help, the better conditions life can be, and that's a good thing. So I've listed out five, the most interesting actually,、um, signs of autism in toddlers, which I think you definitely do need to see.、Um, And if you're thinking, you know, hey, my、uh, toddler, you know, is on the spectrum, or if you're watching this and you know your toddler's already on the spectrum, I actually have a membership、uh, website where you can actually subscribe for a monthly fee to actually join in on group sessions with me, where I can coach you personally on、uh, anything to do lifestyle-wise, and、uh, you also get a monthly course from me and a little、uh, little workbook and stuff and a download PDF guidebook.、Uh, there's no pressure on completing the courses. I mean, like it's completely free. It's just like educational content. And if you're interested in that, head over to levelupautism.net right now. Click the join button. It's gonna be super awesome. Okay, guys. So let's go for the first one. Now, the first sign of autism in toddlers is non-responsive to name. Now, typically, people on the autism spectrum, when they are toddlers, they won't be able to respond to you calling their name. So if you're like, "Hey, Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan," and you could be like asking them like a hundred times like for their name, and they'll be like. Just not listening, like as if they're de- they're deaf, like they can't hear, like they have no kind of like way of hearing you. And a lot of the times, some kids are actually diagnosed as deaf when they're actually not deaf. It's just that they are having an issue with the communication because they have an autism spectrum condition, right? And so this is one of the most early kind of signs is that non-responsive to name is something that is really common. In autism in toddlers, but it's something that people kind of just forget because they think, oh, they're just toddlers, you know, they mind of their own, they have selective hearing and all that stuff. So I think it's quite interesting, but definitely what to look out for, and it's definitely one of the more common ones, like an early like warning sign, basically. Okay, so number two is not wanting hugs and emotional kind of contact. Now,、um, as autism impacts kind of like social communication and emotional understanding in people,、um, autistic toddlers probably won't want to have hugs all the time. They'll be kind of adverse from you, kind of wanting to hug them all the time or give them kisses and you know sit them on your knee and. Tell stories. They don't want that kind of social interaction. It's quite heavy on them. It's quite it, it weighs on them, and that can get them a bit shook, I guess. And and they don't have, know how to respond to that. And this kind of lack of emotional connection can be a a good early warning sign that this person is on the autism spectrum. It doesn't mean that they don't love you as a parent or anything like that. It just means that they have an issue with understanding that emotional communication, which is a, a typical trait of autism, and it has nothing to reflect on parenting at all. So please, mums and dads. 
the, you're doing the best you can, and I know you guys are amazing, so please don't don't worry about that. You, you know, you guys are awesome. I, I, big shout out to autism parents. I feel like parents of kids on the spectrum don't get enough recognition, and I just want to let you know that I find you so valuable. Thank you so much for doing what you're doing. You guys are amazing. All right, so moving on to number three. Actually, before we get on to number three, if you have anything to add in this as we're going through these, please pop them in a comment down below. I actually read every single comment, so it's never wasted. I, I really love interacting with you guys. And if you want to check me out on any of my socials, the links are down below as well. But if you're getting value from this, please give this video a thumbs up. It'd be super awesome. It would just help me out a lot if you just exchange um, you know, my content for a like from you. Just a little thumbs up on the video makes a heck of a difference to me. Okay, so number three is lonely play. Now, artistic children will favor isolated play than playing in groups with other kids or playing with one-on-one -on -one with another kid. And it's not because they are arrogant or they just don't like other kids. It's because the social interaction that impacts people on the autism spectrum is present in everybody from day one. So when they're trying to uh, play, they are un uh, unaware of the social constructs, these unwritten social rules that people pick up just by being uh, social uh, communicative, uh, that's kind of a bit of a miss with people on the autism spectrum. So if you notice that a child is being more isolated play, lone play, and have difficulty inviting children into play with them, and vice versa, when children invite them into play in their circle, they have a bit of an issue trying to adapt to that social circle. And this is a common autism trait, and it's actually very prominent with people on the autism spectrum. Okay, so number four is a very easy one, and it's very common, and it's like, it's you know, it's no secret, but lack of eye contact and issues with maintaining and keeping eye contact is a huge, huge giveaway for people on the autism spectrum. As making eye contact is a huge issue for people on the autism spectrum, it's something that you will typically notice and so on because it's it's a very strange thing to uh, a neurotypical person or a non-autistic person who's trying to talk to somebody and they don't make eye contact and they find it very strange where autistic people find it quite comfortable to not make eye contact. So. That is a huge red flag, and it's a good indication that the person may be on the autism spectrum. Okay, so number five is quite an interesting one. Um, it's, this is not smiling back at you when you smile at them. So autism comes with a whole host of things, and one of the things is like facial blindness, which is like emotional con connection. So knowing if someone's happy or sad by their facial expressions is very difficult for someone on the autism spectrum to grasp and understand fully. So when you smile at someone on the autism spectrum, they may not understand that you're smiling, so they wouldn't really necessarily smile back and this could be loads of things it could be the fact that they can't communicate their emotions it could be that they can't read your face and it could be that they have just are completely zoned out the situation and they're unaware of what is going on there's so many factors that come into it but this is a huge one you know not understanding and repeating that um, uh, you know that emotional connection will actually reflect in someone on the autism spectrum I find it very very interesting but it's a huge red flag now if you found this video helpful for other people please share it on Facebook Twitter and Instagram that would be absolutely fantastic and amazing if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time, guys. Peace. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out this podcast. Make sure you are subscribed because there are people listening right now who are not subscribed to this podcast. I can see you. Make sure you subscribe. Okay, guys, see you in the next one. Peace.